couple minutes after 5 o'clock here on the 4th day of May, on the way up to Temecula for the Southern California Home Brewers Fest, one of my favorite fests of the year. And uh, riding along with our old friend Lou Bryson. Hey, Lou. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Real good. Real good. I don't mind the traffic at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what do you think of the idea of me driving and vlogging at the same time? I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes. Okay. Is that why you have your eyes riveted forward? You know? <laughs> I just want to see what we hit, that's all. <laughs> so Lou's coming out from, uh, all the way out from Pennsylvania to come and do some speaking tomorrow. What's your, what's your subject? Bug beers. Bug uh, beers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Britannomyces yeast and uh, PDO and, um, oh darn, the other one that I can't think of, bacteria. Yeah, PDO. Uh, lacto. The, the lactobacillus. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, some stories about about bug beers and uh, whether they've worked and, and not, and how you keep the brewery clean, that kind of stuff. Gotcha. So, Lou comes out all the way from outside of the Philly area, and uh, he flew in this morning. How was the trip? Good? Uh, uneventful, which is the kind of flight I love. Okay. Uh, we did sit on the runway for an hour, but it was no big deal. I slept. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Came out and, and and went went to Stone, which was great. First time I was there, it was very nice. Good, good. So let's uh, clue people in on uh, who you are. We tell tell people what you do. Uh, I'm a freelance beer and whiskey writer. I uh, I'm the managing editor at Malt Advocate magazine and Whiskey Magazine. I uh, oh gosh, I, I write for New Brewer. I write for uh, Messages of Every Business. I write for Ale Street News. Pretty much whoever pays me. Cool. How, how do we first get to uh, to know you? Do you remember Lord, back those that, days? Was it Oktoberfest? Or was it before that? Uh, maybe it was Oktoberfest. It might have been Oktoberfest. Which first, was... You know, we hung out. Yeah, like five years ago? Every bit of that. Yeah, yeah, at least. Well, when were we doing the show? Hell, I should know the answer, but... Uh, yeah, the show was, was like maybe... Hey, you're right, the show was six or seven years ago. Was that long ago? Yeah, it's been a long time. We did the show uh, on internet radio. It was uh, ahead of its time. Either that or yeah. it wasn't all that good. <laughs> um, they called me the, the Arrogant Bastard on Beer Show, and Lou was our East Coast correspondent. <laughs> yeah, mostly I just remember laughing a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we essentially get it together over the internet radio. Uh, we, Lou would call into the show, and uh, we'd drink beer and uh, yeah. laugh. And um, people would listen in. Um, or they, or they, 20 or they sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I finally get to meet Chris today. The That's producer, right. wasn't he? Chris, it was producer Chris back then, yeah. yeah. Chris Cochran. All right, so uh, I'm going to get up to Temecula and start having some home brews. Yeah. I'm getting thirsty myself. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Cool. Well, it's 1130 well, now. On they tend to store better as well. Ron Mitch Steele's giving a talk on hops. Uh, pretty much. Let's hear it again for Mitch Steele. <laughs> if you haven't tried that double dry hop idea, you should. So the start of the homebrew festival for me, anyways. A few people have already gotten started. And uh, Mr. Jake is pouring some this great Oaxacan chocolate. I just like saying Oaxacan chocolate. Um, Oaxacan chocolate, uh, Imperial Stout. Cheers to you. What else? What are the other attributes? Uh, Oaxacan chocolate and espresso. Espresso. Yeah. What's the ABV on this? This is 8.7. 8.7, okay. That's right. It's kind of weak by our standards, but it'll do. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, flavor profile, it, there's nothing weak about it. It's Thank really very much. Thank you. You know what? It I, means a lot. Yeah. And uh, our friend Bill from Alesmith. The other, the other company. <laughs> Spe speaking of which, by the way, nice uh, minted. Uh, hey, come here. on. It's in Temecula after all, right? That's right, we are in Temecula. <laughs> it's not similar to what they wrote. How's it going, Mitch? How was your speech? It was good. Yeah. Good. 20 minutes of talking about IPAs. It doesn't get much better. <laughs> <laughs> and then going right into drinking beer. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Hey, Bill. See me. Oh, no, Bill. Uh, that's Corey. I'm like, I looked up. It's, it's Corey. Hey, Corey. You got a uh, nori sheet there. I got some seaweed. Yeah. I think that's what I just said. Like seaweed. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I actually My wife like eats. Them. She buys packs and pa on packs and stuff. Really? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right, come in. Check this out. Okay, I guess so I'm going to join the this club here and have a piece of uh, nori sheet. Good for hanging. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, here it is, uh, six o'clock, and honestly, I I just got done with a nap, and <laughs> Andy Gamlin, Society of Barley Engineers, and looking the same way. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, somehow that's what really helps it make feel like a day off for me if I take a nap during the middle of the day. It definitely feels like a day off. It and today like has felt like a day off for me. Feels like it's another day now. Now you can wake <laughs> up, get down there, and. To tell you the truth, you won't really have missed anything. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. More of the same, but they're still waiting for you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's everything will still be there. <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, the, the phrase for the moment then is uh, on to round two. <laughs>